Hello friends, today in this video we are going to know about Mtech medical devices. So in this video we are going to cover the following things the Mtech medical devices PG course offering institutes and the eligibility for the course and the scope of the course and the jobs available and the complete course structure along with the each and every subjects in the uh, subsequent semesters. So uh, if you want to know complete details about Mtech medical devices please follow me and continue along this video and thank you guys thank you for uh, clicking on this video so let's get into today's details of the Amtech medical devices okay friends let us start today's video friends first of all let us know the offering institutes uh, where the Amtech medical devices course is available it is available at three uh, i mean four uh, nipers which is Gauhati, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Sasnagar. Previously there are only three nipers offering uh, this Amtech medical devices. Now to this list Kolkata is being added this year in 2021. And what is the qualification for pursuing this Amtech medical devices? You must have a degree, bachelor degree in pharmacy or master of sciences in chemical sciences, life sciences, biochemistry or biotechnology. Biomedical sciences, biophysics, B.Tech, B.E, MBBS, BDS, BVSC. Those are the qualifications. So let us see the scope of Mtech medical devices. Here the, there are few statements which is released by the NIPER that uh, the market size, the global market size for the medical devices is increasing year by year. So there is a huge demand for this Mtech uh, candidates, those who are pursuing Mtech in medical devices because there is a large need for the candidates in this area. So Mtech in medical devices is highly intended for motivated candidates, fashionate to provide, I mean, the course is intended for uh, those uh, candidates who want to create something, the medical devices which are useful for the health of the people and uh, promote increasing the uh, healthcare innovations in the field of uh, pharmacy. So the, for Mtech medical devices, the batch size will be 10 students per year in each offering NIPER. So we have 4 NIPERs as of now. So there will be 10 students in every NIPER for Mtech medical devices course. And the interested candidates from industry, R&D organizations, government institutes can also apply for this course. And after completion of the program, students are expected to have broad range of career options. So let us see some of the job opportunities available which include research and development in healthcare, pharmaceutical, biotech and medical device industry, academic and research organization as entrepreneurs, venture capital firms, hospitals, diagnostic labs and other healthcare facility. As a Mtech medical devices PC graduate, you will be able to understand the functioning of various healthcare instruments, everything all. So let us see the course structure. It includes the following SIM, SIM1, SIM2, SIM3 and SIM4. In SIM1 the following subjects are there. Fundamentals of Medical Imaging and Processing, Medical Instrumentation, Physiology of Human Body, Biostatistics, Artificial Intelligence and Computer Applications, CAD, CAM, Intellectual Property Rights, F elective sub some, there are some elective subjects you need to select one and laboratory and coming to the same two uh, you will be having 14 credits and there are some uh, for same one also 16 is for same one it is 16 credits and for same two 14 which includes bioengineering drug delivery engineering advanced biomaterials biosensor spectral analysis regulatory in medical devices elective four five six i mean any subjects you can elect uh, two subjects as per niper and laboratory experience m3 and four research and thesis work so these are the things about mtech medical devices i hope you like this information guys see you in the next video